Point blank. Cutting down doesn't work. If you don't understand why, please keep tuning in. If you think you completely understand why cutting down doesn't work, I insist you keep tuning in as well. You'll understand why. Now, shitty things happen if you try to cut down. First, the nicotine demon stays alive in your body, but its hunger for more nicotine pulses more and more. As you continue to watch clocks and set timers for your next spare cigarette, you waste your life away waiting for your next fix of nicotine, when all that time can be better spent doing literally anything else that brings you true joy. Two worst things happen though when you cut down on cigarettes. One, when you indulge yourself, cigarette after cigarette, you are only partially relieving your nicotine addiction and causing yourself to feel more insecure, more nervous, and also just more shitty. Two, you make each spare cigarette appear to give you more of an illusionary pleasure. By spacing out cigarettes apart more and more, you now rely on these soul cigarettes for your crutch and your so-called pleasure. And they're not genuine pleasure either. Why on earth would any smoker want to put themselves through this? There are many times all smokers have done this, especially myself. A factor is money. As prices go up on tobacco excise, we limit ourselves due to our budgets and choose to space cigarettes over our pay cycles. But these periods of abstinence just fool us into believing that we somehow really do get a pleasure from cigarettes, while simultaneously ignoring that these are the pains of nicotine addiction. Another factor is health. Some smokers simply cannot smoke cigarette after cigarette. Some may have issues with asthma, lung cancer, or have to hide their habits from their boss or loved ones. Yet they receive all the negative benefits and pangs of addiction, like heavy smokers. One temptation of failed quitters is to cut down on smoking instead of giving up on cigarettes altogether. It's another vicious cycle and relies on willpower to continue to cut down on cigarettes. Willpower doesn't work when quitting cigarettes, and it doesn't work when attempting to cut down. If you've tried cutting down like millions of other smokers and like me, you'll know from first-hand experience that it's problematic and just cannot be sustainable. Smoking is an addiction, not a habit. All smokers have a permanent tug of war in their brains and a permanent itch inside their bodies to smoke because of the nicotine demon and the brainwashing demon. Yet, when we light up, we only cure the itch until we finish that cigarette. However, with each cigarette, we create a new itch, spreading our nicotine dependency like wildfire. Willpower doesn't help you to quit successfully and permanently, so willpower therefore will not help you cut down more and more. You'll always come back to a higher amount of cigarettes than you were smoking before. It's akin to yo-yo dieting, where you regain more weight than you previously lost. Eventually, your willpower will always run out, and when it does, you'll be left exhausted, frustrated, and give up on any further attempts to quit again. Cutting down is associated with another group of smokers who we tend to believe are the so-called perfect models of decreasing our tobacco addiction, the happy casual smokers. We envy them, but they're nothing but liars. In the next episode, we explore why there is no such thing as a happy casual smoker.